So today's route begins in Nowton Park near Bury St Edmunds and we're just going to do a circular walk beyond the park and then come into the park at the other end. In today's video we're doing a circular walk beginning at the car park at Nowton Park near Bury St Edmunds, coming out of the park circling round some of the lanes of the village and then back into the park and down the avenue of daffodils. The walk begins by walking back out of the car park onto the main road and then I should be taking out rice from today's navigator, a little bit in yellow. So we turn right out of the car park, back onto the road. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So as you've seen when we walked at that uh, tarmac lane there from the main road and when it bends sharp to the left we carry straight on down this footpath or bridle way, whatever it is. Can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the cricket, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do so we just turned left there where the track splits again. Nice bit of sunshine today, which is welcome after all that rain. Blossom on the tree. Yeah. to another tarmac lane here it's all bearing right on it more or less straight ahead and follow down here for a bit mostly following Hazel because she knows where she's going Thank you. 
as you saw there we turned left at that little junction down here very quiet roads glorious blue skies Sort of late afternoon now. I did come out this morning at the car park at Nanton Park it was absolutely heaving. So we turned around and went home again. Don't mind doing a little journey, but I really don't want to be where there's loads of people. It is only a little journey from where we live. This walk you could just park at Nanton Park and go around Nanton Park. It is a it's an excellent park. The daffodils are the main feature at this time of year. But uh, Hazel found this walk a while back. You park in the park car park and you just cross the road and do a circular. It brings you back round into the park but it just gets you away from the crowds and the noise. And on a day like this, with blue skies and the birds chirping away, it is most pleasant. Yes, once a week the bus comes every fourth Thursday whether you need it or not which is fairly typical of bus services in this part of Suffolk so at the end of Cooper's Lane there we sort of born right onto the road again and then in a little while we cross to the Oaks Gate I think this is going into back into Nowton Park. I think there's a couple of tree sculptures in this park. Now this is a great uh, totem pole carved out of a quite a tall tree. Weird and wonderful, we like a bit of weird and wonderful. So we came off the road through the gate into here. We just popped over that direction a bit to see the totem pole and I sort of swung back right to get back onto this path. Uh, there's lots of paths in Nowton Park once you get back off the route we've just been uh, and you're back in Nowton Park really you just uh, explore all sorts of little trails. It's just nice to be in open parkland again. Still a bit muddy underfoot in places here but we've had rain all week. It's quite unusual for Suffolk. We are I think one of the driest places in the UK. I know when we moved down here from Manchester in 1989 it was a bit of a heat wave year. Bear in mind as the saying goes it always rains in Manchester. Not quite true but it does rain a lot. I moved to Suffolk during a drought and uh, just kind of thought we'd move to the Sahara Desert really. All well, the lawn got yellow and died back. And it just didn't rain for months. 
but it's only made up for it this week and now once again we are facing the swamp of doom <laughs> Once again, the Egan survived the Swamp of Doom. Oh, there's another one here. Hold on. As I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted, once again, the Egan survived the Swamp of Doom. Guess what's down here? Yes, you guessed it right. The Swamp of Doom. So I keep hearing people refer to the Covid roadmap. I think the government have really missed an opportunity here. It shouldn't be called the Covid roadmap. It should be called the road to Damascus. The road to demask us. Okay, I'll get my coat. There is something, isn't there, about the day with Sort of blue skies, you feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Trees are coming into bud and uh, the early blossom is out. Not sure what that is, is that hawthorn that comes out? I don't know, the people that know about these things will probably comment below, but uh, it's nice, whatever it is. A little white blossom just signalling the beginning of spring. One of the great features at this time of year in Outen Park that everyone comes to see is this uh, long line of, well two long lines of daffodils and it's possibly over half a mile of daffodils down here and here's my favourite little daffodil shining in a <laughs> yellow coat Mrs. Z you do uh, kind of match the more daffodils than you can shake a stick at though why you would want to shake a stick at the daffodils, I'm not sure. <laughs> 